morning, everyone. I'm Representative Sharice Davids, and I have the honor of representing Kansas's third congressional district in the U.S. House. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the 2023, yes, it's 2023, Small Business Congress. Uh, I want to thank the National Small Business Association for inviting me to speak with you all today. I'm, I'm so sorry I couldn't be there in person, but I am grateful for the chance to share a few thoughts with you. You know, I sit on the Small Business Committee in the House, and in the last Congress, I served as the chair of the Subcommittee on Economic Growth, Tax, and Capital Access. Uh, there's a lot in that title. Uh, Congress isn't always the best at coming up with these snappy names, but, uh, but really what it means is that I get to work on policy issues that uh, truly impact small businesses every single day. That includes finding ways to increase access to capital, uh, streamlining SBA programs, uh, working with other federally supported resources to make them the best possible partners for our local business community. Um, you know, some examples of how we've been working to improve federal programs include things like the bipartisan legislation we passed last session to improve the 504 loan program, uh, my, bar, by, my bipartisan bill to reauthorize the Women's Business Centers, uh, which I know have been super impactful, uh, certainly in the Kansas third, but really across the state. Uh, and in this session, I'm hoping to focus on how we can prepare small businesses for upcoming federal contracting and subcontracting opportunities, like the projects that are going to come out of the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law and also the CHIPS and Science Act. I know that uh, we have a couple Kansans that are there today, uh, and I hope that um, people get to see that we have such a vibrant entrepreneurial community in, in Kansas, and particularly in the Kansas third. Uh, it really is baked into the DNA of, uh, of our district, and it means that I get to visit with small businesses and see a lot of cool stuff that's going on in Kansas uh, pretty much all the time. So uh, I know that uh, research, manufacturing, design, construction, there's tons of small businesses out there that are ready, willing, and uh, frankly able to step up to some of these opportunities. You know, after we pass the bipartisan infrastructure law, uh, and the major domestic manufacturing bill, I knew that uh, what we were gonna need to do is focus on implementation. That's how we can make sure that these transformative pieces of legislation actually have the intended impact on our local communities. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to get the chance to partner with you all on that effort. Uh, please know that my office is always here to listen to what you have to say. Uh, it's critical that we are responsive to the issues that you're running into when it comes to implementation and that we're uh, figuring out ways to uplift uh, your successes too. So make sure to, to reach out and be vocal with uh, not just our offices, but my colleagues as well. You know, when small businesses thrive, uh, our entire community uh, and our entire com economy uh, across the country is gonna thrive. So uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the programming and I appreciate the invitation and I will look forward to seeing you all again soon.